What's going on guys and gals, my name's Sean, and if you landed here, you're watching Scar My Guitar. What's going on everybody? It's good to see you back. Now, before we get started, I just want to tell you guys thanks for showing up in the live video with me and Trey. That was a blast. Yeah, big shout out to all you guys. But today, we finna check out something really cool. Now, one of the moderators on the channel, I don't know if you guys know who Marsha T is. She's been around for a while, so we decided to hook her up with one of them Fesley guitars. But man, that thing was so bad, I just couldn't find it in my heart to give it to her. So I told Kathy, I said, look, go online, see what you can find. Make sure it's pink. It ain't gonna be mine. It can be pink all it wants to be. I told Kathy, I said, look, find something with some real wood in it. Something we haven't reviewed yet. Find me the best guitar you can for the least amount of money, and then let's upgrade it for her. Well, one thing's for sure. Didn't take her long to come up with this. Yep, this thing was delivered in just a couple of days. I don't know what it is. Faux Jill? So Jill? How do you say that? You guys tell me. But the box looks undamaged for a change. I mean, <laughs> doesn't have a single nick or ding anywhere. Let's get it open. Santa was good to me. At least my neighbor Eric was, because he's the one that gave this to me for Christmas. New knife. Winchester. See what it looks like. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> All right, let's crack this thing open. Nothing left to do but get it open, huh? With a gig bag. How much you pay for this, Kathy? 109. 109. Yeah, the gig bag's nothing fantastic, but it does have some padding in it. Sure does. Yep, that's a padded gig bag. $109. This can't be any good. And there's no way it's real rosewood. No way. And it's supposed to be pink, but for my eye right now, it's looking purple. Let's check this headstock out. It looked a little funky in the pictures. Ooh. Man, that ain't far from ours, is it? <laughs> that don't even look like the headstock in the pictures. Now, this guy is definitely pink and purple and sick. I actually like this color. That's not a real veneer. You see it's not moving at all. But that's real rosewood. Yep, that's real rosewood, all right. <laughs> that's definitely roasted maple. Wow, look at the color on the back. It's like a maroon or something. But yeah, roasted maple neck. What? The real rosewood fretboard. It says in the listing it's a basswood body. We're going to find that out here in just a minute. Now hang on just a dang minute. Sean, that can't be real. Man, that neck's worth $109 to me. You know what I say. Give yourself a good smack, because I'm seeing what I'm seeing. Yeah, while well, you over there slapping yourself silly, because I done found something good, I'll take this thing off the table and play it a little bit. All right, I got the Fajil, the Fogil, the Sojil. <laughs> the awesome pink guitar. <laughs> Tuned up. Yeah, this guy looks incredible, man. And I'm going to tell you right now, as far as playing... out of intonation you can hear that chord's not on but it is in tune a little off there but we'll get it straightened out but this thing's playing killer already it's got some pretty good sized frets on it too but i mean for an old pink and purple guitar this thing's looking sick i mean this thing's fat already i can tell you right now it's a 109 dollar guitar all day long now I know we said we was gonna upgrade this thing, but I don't know if it needs it or not. That's a lot of guitar for $109. Yep, I'm paying more than that just for the neck. Shoot, the knobs are 10 bucks, but I wanna see this thing at its maximum potential. I also wanna see what's inside of it. So that's gonna be enough lip flapping. Let's make it happen. They must do that logo with a silk screen because I can feel it. Don't matter to me, it's cool. All right, strings off. You ain't gotta watch it. We gonna start out hitting it from the back this time. 
See what's in the tram cavity. Big trim, little trim, what do you say? I say it's a little trim. Yep. And it looks like they learned something here. That this route needs to go up a little because they had to change that. You see that? Yep, I suspect the later guitars won't have that. They sure do got those springs pegged out. We'll go ahead and loosen them just a little bit to, so they're at least even. Something like that. All right, everybody's favorite, the control cavity. All right, what do you say? Big pots, little pots, any kind of pots? What do you say? Put in the comments. Same stuff. A lot of extra wire in there. Nothing wrong with that, though. It's got the normal little logos on it. There's nothing really wrong with any of this stuff. It'll work just fine. It's just not full size. It's not going to have the full spectrum. At least that's what I think. You tell me. Let's see what's in the neck pocket. Comes out pretty easy. Well, you can tell it only went in. It hadn't been out again because it's got a bunch of raised up stuff on it. You can see that. We'll go ahead and clean that stuff off now. You know I like to use a metal file to do it. It's only going to remove what it needs to. I'd have to really scrub this thing hard to take more off than I need to. Man, this is a beautiful neck. Look at how polished those frets are. Look at them. <laughs> they really are. And they go all the way to the ends of the fretboard. Imagine that. Now there's a little bit of trash in this. And it's got that hole. But it's really small. It's about the size of a Sharpie. I want to clean all this stuff out of this neck pocket. Can't be helping anything. Right? All that trash. You see it all? Stuff that didn't get routed there. I don't know what all that is. But we'll get all that out. Use this file to clean it. And that is 100% basswood. Beautiful body. Now they either taped this off or they routed it after they painted it. I don't know. You tell me. What do you think? All right, let's check out these pickups. All right, let's see. They got a B for a bridge. I can feel wax on them, so that's good. It's pretty hefty as well. No shielding, which I don't think matters. <sighs> Some of you guys are gonna argue me in the ground on that one, but I don't think if it don't need it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> when I say it doesn't need it, I mean it's not noisy. Let's see if this is ceramic. That'll tell us everything. Yeah, he's got a big fat one under there, see it? Nothing wrong with a ceramic magnet. I'm seeing that foam trick more and more though. Let's plug in the old digital multimeter. Now I got him all clipped up. You can call them whatever clips you want. But I'm in the bridge position. Let's turn it up. 12, 4, 3. Now this five-way switch, so second or fourth position, whatever you like. 303, so I guess that's going to be humbucker and single coil. And then we got four for the middle. 286 at position 2 or 4, whichever one you're happy with. And then the neck humbucker. You're bringing in at 10. He's pretty hot. Let's 
Some of you guys say tighten them this way and this way. Now, I don't like tightening them with the X pattern because what happens sometimes is the neck doesn't snug into the pocket right. And then you have to unscrew it and get it and do it again and again. But I've always found if I just do one here, one over here, that neck will snug into the pocket just right. I go do those, tighten them all up again by hand. You know, snug them up real good. Always starting with the bottom ones. Now before we touch this neck with anything, I want you to look at those frets. They are gleaming. They are literally gleaming. They're not sharp either. This thing's had a fret job. No joke. We'll see how straight this neck is. It's got a pretty good size bow in it. Let's go ahead and straighten it out. Now I know some of you guys are going to tell me, Bro, you got to have strings on that neck before you can adjust it. Dude, I make guitars from scratch. I have to adjust the neck long before I ever put strings on it. Do you understand that? So, what I'm doing right now is what I know to do. If you do it a certain way, good for you. I gave it a little half turn. Still got a little bit of relief in it, but doesn't have that giant bow anymore. This will probably be perfect. It was already playing really good. Man, that nut looks suspiciously like bone. It is. Look at that. That is bone all day long. See that dust on my finger? It's bone all day. Let's see what the fret rocker says. Nothing yet. Yeah, this thing's had a fret job, man. It seems to be common now on these budget guitars, because this ain't cheap. This is just affordable as all get out in my mind. What's cheap about it? <laughs> we make the mistake of calling these things cheap guitars, and they're just affordable. Let's put some fingerboard conditioner on it, even though I don't think it needs it. I just want to do something to it, because I didn't have to do anything to a $109 guitar. It's just crazy. I don't understand. Yep, yeah, hard to believe this guitar's got a real rosewood fretboard for the price, but it sure does. Yeah, I'm not kidding you when I tell you this thing's got a monster fret job on it. You can see the red light in the frets from the camera. <laughs> this booger's gleaming, man. Let's get some strings on it. Jam it out real good. The Soji Moji Foji Purple Beast. <laughs> Whatever this thing is. Pink. Purple, part maroon. It's all tuned up. Let's see what it sounds like unplugged. Let's turn it up some. You gotta be kidding me. I can't believe I've got this in my hands for 109 bucks to the door. This thing is just as slippery as can be, man.
Well, here we are again with another crazy affordable guitar. And this guitar right here is stomping on most mid-range guitars that have a name brand on them. Anything with a big name on it that's 500 bucks or less, this $100 guitar is smashing it. Yeah, I don't think that needs much upgrading. I'm going to fool around with it for the next couple days, see if it stays in tune, but it appears to. Those tuners are smooth. Those pickups sound good to me. Now let's get something straight real quick. I wasn't paid a single dime to show you this guitar. Wasn't giving the guitar free. But if you got $89 to $109 and you're looking for a decent guitar, I'm going to tell you right now, that's the way to go. Hands down. Roasted maple neck. Real rosewood fretboard. Real basswood body. Bone nut. Medium jumbo frets, probably. I mean, those look like some medium jumbo frets to me. Man, I think I found the best budget guitar on Amazon. Oh yeah, that's right. We're not calling them budget anymore. They're affordable. Oh yeah, my buddy Trey done started him a YouTube channel. There's going to be a link to his channel down there. Go subscribe, man. I promise you, you won't regret it. Tell him I sent you. Now, me and Kathy really appreciate you watching. Until I see you again, don't you touch my scar guitar.